In this problem, we have a trigonometric equation and we're being asked to solve for x. So whenever you have a trig equation, and it's not just like sine x or cosine x, whenever it's something besides x inside the trig function, uh, the approach is the following. You start by writing this down. So we have that x is less than 2 pi and is greater than or equal to 0. So write it down like this. And then you want to manipulate this to make it look like what's inside your trig function. So let's go ahead and divide each piece by 2 because we're trying to get to x over 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So we get 0 less than or equal to x over 2 less than and then these cancel so you get pi. And so now what we can do is we can rename this x over 2 just for convenience purposes. We can call it u. So we really have 0 less than or equal to u less than pi. And so now our equation gets transformed, right? It's actually sine of u equals cosine of u. And this just makes it so much easier to think about. So now we're looking for the solutions to this equation. So when is sine u equal to cosine u when u is between 0 and pi? So if we think about the unit circle and the values that we know of sine and cosine, uh, we know that the only time they're the same uh, involves the angle pi over 4. They're the same at pi over 4, which is here. And they're also the same when they're both negative. So that's going to be over here. So this will be 5 pi over 4. So those are the two angles where uh, sine and cosine will be equal. Uh, and in all cases, in both cases, they'll be equal to the square root of 2 over 2, right? The sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2, so is the cosine of pi over 4, so is, and then in this case here, uh, sine of pi over 4 is negative root 2 over 2, and cosine of pi over 4 is also negative root 2 over 2. So in both cases, uh, these, are, these are equal. However, this is pi, and this is 0, so we don't want this angle. So the only angle we want is pi over 4. That means that u must be equal to pi over 4. But we're looking for x. So now what you do is you go back and you replace your u with what it actually was. Remember back here, we said that u was x over 2. So that means x over 2 is equal to pi over 4. But now we're looking for x. So you just multiply both sides by 2, multiply by 2, boom. So we get x equals pi divided by 2. And that should be the only solution to this equation. I hope this video has been helpful.